Tokyo has built the world's best subway. This is New York's subway. This is London's and this is Seoul's. The thing they all have in common is that they're bigger than the subway system in Tokyo. They all have more stations and extend over longer distances. But Tokyo is far and away the world's largest city. It dwarfs the others and is now home to more than 37 million people. Beneath these streets is a system that defies convention. I'm it's gonna the pee. world's busiest subway, I've got pee moving 3.9 billion. Got to pee for a second. I'll be back in a moment. In passengers each year, equivalent to half the world's population, but all in an understated and efficient way. Japan's capital has mastered the art of mass transit, moving more people with fewer lines, fewer stations, and in a smaller area than any other major city. In our opinion, it's the world's best subway. In 1927, Tokyo opened its first subway line. Since then, the network's grown to 13 lines across two interconnected systems that largely work as one. Tokyo Metro has 195 kilometers of track across nine lines with 180 stations and moves 2.7 billion passengers each year. The Toye subway covers 109 kilometers of track across four lines with 106 stations and has an annual ridership of 1.17 billion passengers. We'll explain why they remain separate in a bit, but the core story of how this hyper-efficient transit system came to be actually goes back to when Tokyo was emerging from the end of the Second World War. The city needed to maximize its use of limited resources and wanted to avoid the kind of urban sprawl that was happening elsewhere, driven by a rise in car ownership. Tokyo was rebuilt as a city of cities with loosely dispersed self-supporting centers across the metro area that could be gradually linked by Minato, an extensive rail network Minato and city, city grew. Since construction began on the city's second subway line in 1951, there's rarely been a time when the network wasn't undergoing some kind of expansion or line extension, constantly adding to the subway's capacity and resulting in the consistent high-density cityscape we see in Tokyo today. By building a wide-reaching network that served virtually every part of the city proper, car ownership in Tokyo sits extremely low for the developed world, with only 0.54 cars per household, significantly less than cities with networks that primarily serve as shuttles between suburban areas and a central business district, like Chicago with 1.12 cars per household, or San Francisco with 1.10 cars per household. Oh, Tokyo is one of the few places in the world that operates through trains in its subway system, and this is a key ingredient to its success. Most cities tend to follow a model like London, where regional commuter trains terminate at major interchanges like Paddington or Waterloo before passengers transfer onto the underground system. In Tokyo, new lines were designed to accommodate suburban commuter trains, allowing them to travel directly through the city centre and removing the need for passengers to navigate busy interchanges at rush hour. This improves efficiency and extends the subway's effective reach without the need for additional Fuck. track or rolling stock. That's so sick. By entering into traction... You're such a bad girl. I go through that tunnel right now. Above the ground too. Fuck. ...sharing agreements with the suburban rail companies, mm. subway operators are provided with a continuous stream of revenue, allowing them to build new lines across the city even when the existing lines are yet to become profitable. This again is very different to most other cities around the world, and it's a clever way of part financing maintenance and expansion. From the outset, just after the Second World War, this model was introduced, and it's resulted in an infrastructure system with much more fluidity and far fewer big congested mm. interchanges. Look at how sexy she looks. It's a caboose right there. That. Today, 10 of Tokyo's 13 subway lines operate through trains, and while the revenue generated by them made the construction of the lines possible, it's now the primary reason why the subway isn't unified. Neither the national or local government is willing to hand their lines to the other and lose the ongoing revenue that their systems generate. Despite being their own entities, the rollout of a common ticketing system in 2000 saw travel across Tokyo's mass transit network become much easier and the introduction of the PASMO smart ticketing system in 2007, which was made compatible with JRE's Soika system, 
meant that passengers only needed a single card to travel across the entire Greater Tokyo area. Yeah, except apparently they didn't even need to do this if they didn't have, like, if all of this wasn't dealt with through, like, private corporations cutting out or uh, cutting the entirety, um, uh, like, basically, uh, you know, having their own lines, like, uh, you would only need one... You would only need one public uh, transit card regardless. You know what I mean? Smart ticketing systems are of course nothing new. London has the Oyster, Hong Kong the Octopus and Sydney the Opal card. But Tokyo took things to a whole new level in 2013, making a further eight smart card systems from across Japan all compatible with one another. Japan is one of the world's technology capitals, but dude, despite this, its wait, subway system it is no more reliant on technology to maintain efficiency than any other. Drivers will normally spend their entire careers. I still have my Pasmo. I still have it on me. I keep that fucking thing on me. I didn't get a Suica. I got a Pasmo because of the, the like area that we were staying in. I fucked on a New York City MTA train before, and that was like a Motel L Eight. Of fucking on one of these Tokyo trains would be like a luxury. Okay, you are insane. Um, you should go to jail. Like, I want to fuck the trains, not fuck on the trains, okay? It's very different. I mean, fuck, I don't even want to do that. I, I meant like, I, I meant like I want to ride the trains and, and, uh, take the, enjoy the bounties of, of, uh, wonderfully accessible public transit. That's what I meant. <laughs> He's the weird one. Single line learning its intricacies and maintaining the speed needed to arrive at each station within a minute of schedule. Maintenance is also critical. Track and tunnel infrastructure is inspected nightly. Yeah, that's a bad and boy. Any minor that's the bad boy of the train game, you know what I mean? He's the one who comes in and, and does the inspections. Damage is corrected, avoiding the need for disruptive major repairs. Every four years, train cars are completely dismantled, inspected by hand, cleaned and rebuilt to ensure they run like new. Subway etiquette displays are mounted on trains and within stations showing what passengers can do to improve their experience. These rules aren't heavily enforced, but the majority of people follow them for the good of the system. That again is different to most subways. We all have the signs, but they're not universally followed. By simply talking quietly, not eating on board and not obstructing train doors, Tokyo's subway manages to avoid that loud, dirty and unpleasant experience that some subways can have. It's a fucking treat and a half, okay? Quite literally. It, it is such an incredible experience, dude. It was so much fun. Some of my favorite activities was just getting on a fucking, getting on a freaking train. The city's built a system that's extensive, reliable, and easy to use. And it's become so highly regarded among Tokyo citizens that ridership's actually increased year on year despite the city's population falling since 2019. Though passenger numbers of course fell during the pandemic, and while the system is now unlike- Fuck dude, every time I watch- every time I watch one of these fucking videos, I'm like, take me back. I want to go back so bad, dude. Every time I watch one of these motherfucking videos, I think I'm probably gonna go at the end of June for VCT. Because like, oh god, I, my heart is with Japan, you know what I mean? Dude, Japan is insanely good but stagnating. Now imagine how China will always be upgraded and expanded. Holy shit, you really need to go badly with Jake who has invited you. I do want to go to China really, really badly too. Oh my god. I think if I go to China, I will like purposely try to get arrested so I stay in China forever. Likely to transport any spectators around the venues of the Tokyo Olympics, passengers are expected to return when the situation begins to improve. Post-pandemic, as our cities grapple with moving more people than ever before, Tokyo's approach is one to look to. Making public transportation networks something people want to use, not just tolerate, will become key to keeping our cities and their economies. Why do you want to stay in China? What do you mean? All of the shit that I love about Japan also exists in China as well. Like, just wanton, unregulated, complete fucking commodity fetishization to the maximum incredibly uh you know incredibly well urbanized areas where there's like high population density tremendous amounts of public infrastructure spending it's it's what's not to love are you kidding me they got it all good food i, I can't i don't know about like uh china's food but i i mean 
food quality is incredible in Japan. I I don't actually know if uh if food quality is like uh also incredible in in China as well. I assume it's incredible. Um, we've watched the Japanese people give their opinion on foreigners video before. Europe also has that. Now, Europe is different. Um, there is like a there is like a recency in the development in both of these countries that I'm mentioning that like make it seem more unique. I don't know what it is. I mean, look, I've maybe it's because like I grew up in Turkey, so I went to Europe a lot. You know what I mean? But it's it's like weird that I I don't. I don't consider it to be in the same vein. I don't know why. Europe is really stagnant. Yeah, you get that. You get that feel. Europe has too many white people. Honestly, not really. Europe, there's plenty of European countries that are uh, super diverse. That's like not even the case. If anything, Japan is infinitely less diverse than Europe. Are you kidding me? Unless you mean diversity just means non-white. <laughs> yeah, Europe is super fucking. Uh, Europe is based. Come on, no, I I like Europe. Dude, Amsterdam is incredible. Like, uh, I I certainly loved it. But there's just some different about Japan. I think it's because I'm a weeb. I'll just fucking say it. I, I've I've thought about this a lot. How is Switzerland? Beautiful. Oh my god, Zurich is incredible. Um, but there's something about Europe, vibes 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 wise that like seems pompous. There is like this air of of pomposity. Is that the right word? Pompousness. I don't know. You'll like Paris too, I think. I've been to Paris. Pompousy, pretentiousness is great. Um, it's hard to describe. It's all vibes based. I think that like Japan, that meme of like that meme of like normal thing in America, ew, normal thing in Japan, uh, bat chest, soy face is so real because like it does feel awesome. It does feel incredible. Also, I'm wearing a fucking frog hoodie from Kai Day. Of course, I'm a goddamn weeb. Like, look at me. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll admit I'm a weeb. I'm wearing literally a fucking frog hoodie. Um, we Europeans are way too full of ourselves because we compare ourselves to Americans and winning in that comparison is easy as fuck. Yeah. For people, that, you're saying that would 100% wear off if you'd move there? I don't know, man. I feel like... All of the fucking expat Andes that I know that live there, including Connor Dog, Virginia, seemingly loves it and like kind of loves staying there, kind of love living there. Hey everyone, uh, I'm the editor. Uh, thanks for watching till the end. Uh, hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, then please drop a like uh, and subscribe. Why not leave a Kaya L in the comments down below so that I know that you reached this point of the video. If you'd like more content like this one, then uh, check the video up here on top of my head or literally in front of my face right here. <laughs>